Okay, and one i, we have eight minus two x squared. And always when you're factoring, see if you can first pull out a greatest common factor. Is there a greatest common factor for those two terms? Can you see something that goes into eight and also two? Does two go into both terms? Right? So two times what gives eight? Two times four, right? And two times what gives two x squared? Two times x squared, right? So we have pulled out the greatest common factor, but we need to keep factoring until we're completely done. Can we factorize four minus x squared anymore? Does that look like a difference of squares to you? What number squared will give you two? Will give you four? See, isn't that two? Isn't two squared the same thing as four? So we have actually a difference of squares. We have two squared minus x squared. And as we discussed in the last question in one H, and also you can look at a video on difference of squares. The difference of squares formula is a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. Right. So we have two squared minus x squared which can be written as 2 plus x times 2 minus x, right? But we always have this greatest common factor of 2 on the outside. So that doesn't disappear, it needs to stay there, right? And so that's your answer. But of course, we'll always check these because we, all we have to do is just multiply it out and to check it, right? So I'm going to multiply the green binomials first and then I'll multiply the 2 in at the end. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative x minus 2x, x times 2 plus 2x, x times negative x minus x squared, add like terms, you get a 4, this is 0x, so that goes away, 4 minus x squared, right? But we still have this greatest common factor of 2 on the outside, alright? And that's been multiplied by everything. See, the 2 is multiplied by the whole, this whole thing, right? And if I multiply the 2 in, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times negative x squared is minus 2x squared, right? So that's what we started with, 8 minus 2x squared, right? So that is correct. We have the correct answer here, right? And once again, you could write this also as 2 times 2 minus x times 2 plus x. That would also be correct, right?